Monty, what did you think of it came from? So do you give a paw up? He said, yes, we do, see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's video. This week, we are at Henderson State Park, just outside of Destin, Florida. And we're gonna take you through the park, show you uh, some of the nice things about this park. It's it's in my, it's definitely in my top five list of best state parks that we've been to in the country. We're going to show you around the park, show you around the area, and have a great time. So, but first, let's roll that introduction footage and get you caught up in who we are, and we'll see you on the other side. Well, we're here in Henderson State Park, and it is in Destin, Florida. It's on the Emerald Coast, Gulf Coast, and this is probably one of the nicest state parks that we've stayed in. It's definitely in my top five, right on the Gulf. Now I'm gonna swing around. If you can see behind me, there's the Gulf, Gulf of Mexico. Um, you can't take dogs up on the beach, unfortunately, or I'd take you out on the beach at this this time. But I've got Zephyr and Monty with me, and we're out for our morning walk. And so I uh, thought I'd take the camera with me and show what I can show with them, and then uh, we can uh, head to the beach later uh, in the afternoon when the dogs are taking a nap. But it's a, it's a really really nice state park, very very clean. The campsites are huge and very private. Um, we have a pull-through site that has a large, I don't want to call it a patio area, but it's a very, you know, campsite area, very large, very open. It's on an, um, a fine gravel base, so it's, it's very level. Um, it's not like sand, so you're not tracking it in to your RV. And it has a picnic table and a fire ring in the campsite, which is nice. The price on these sites is about $30 a night. We are here for eight nights. We have water and electric for that price. Um, no sewer, and which is okay. Um, hopefully we can make it for the eight nights without having to run to the dump station. We may have to uh, hook up and move over and dump towards the end of the week. Um, Destin, this park is right off of the Emerald Coast Highway in Destin and it's literally right in Destin. Um, you walk out on the highway there and there's Home Depot, Walmarts, everything within a mile or two of what you need. Movie theaters, so you can be fairly secluded here at the campsite and then walk in and, or drive out and get to anything you need. Restaurants, shopping, whatever you need is right there. We've only been here a couple of days. We still need to kind of explore the area a little bit more. We did take a ride to Pensacola yesterday had never been there really didn't do any research on what to expect or what to look for but we ended up in the downtown area and walked up and down the, the main drag there and saw that there's a lot of nice little restaurants and bars and such not a lot of shopping um, and then you can get down to the pier and the water uh, area and see all the yachts and such which is kind of cool um. well we went out for a drive today we ended up in Pensacola Right now we're at the Pensacola Pier. Yeah, and it's a nice day. The ocean's right here. It's sunny. Sunny, yeah. A little cool, but the sun makes you feel warm. True, true. Yep, it's an interesting little town. I don't know if you call it a little town, city, or whatever. Right. But, you know, downtown has a lot of little, few little shops and a lot of places to eat and drink. Mm-hmm. And where we're sitting 
there's a private marina um, not too far away. Right. Which is for members only. And uh, is your yacht there? No. And it looks like there's some expensive homes right next to it. Yeah. Let's face it, if you buy a house or a place down here and you can park your yacht in front of it, it's not a cheap place. Right, right. Yeah. The water's a little choppy today. Well, we're not going out on it, so I guess no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so we decided to sit down for a minute and talk to you folks about where we are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's other things to do in Pensacola that we haven't found yet, but we stumbled across this and it was a nice little way to spend an afternoon walking up and down the street. Yep. Seeing the birds. Yeah, yeah. Whatever seeing the bird. these birds are, they're flying over. They're us. having quite the time. Here they go. Oh my goodness. Right over our heads. Continue our walk with these guys here. Which I know a lot of you tune in just to see the dogs, so I, I don't blame you. I'm tuned in just for the dogs, too. So, this is our destination for the morning for our walk. We're going to head over to the nature trail and check that out. Take you along with us, so come on. So the nature walk is very enjoyable. You get some good exercise at the same time. You get to learn a little bit about the plants that are everything here. There's little signs that show you what they are and everything. So it's a very enjoyable walk. The dogs love it. Um, we've done it in the last couple of days and they really enjoy taking this walk with us. Uh, are you ready? Sure. Well, today you'll find us at Eglin Air Force Base. This is the U.S. Air Force Armament Museum, and we've just walked around the, I guess you would almost call this the airplane garden. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's, I think he said 25 airplanes here. Yep. Yeah. Inside they have three more planes, different artifacts and history about, you know, bombs and, and a lot of the stuff that was happened here at this Air Force Base. This is uh, the largest Air Force Base in the United States and one of the oldest um, Air Force Bases. It goes way back until I think the 30s that we saw in the one movie. It was something like that. So to give you an idea of some of the planes they have here, there's a B-52 bomber, there's an SR-71 Blackbird, that over there is a Swarovski helicopter, B-25 um, bomber, you can see right there is a B-7, next to the B-25 is a B-17. And down in the distance, there is a AC-30 uh, attack plane. So they've got a little bit of everything here. Very nice display. Yeah, it is. I mean, there was a lot of history and also um, what planes were flown in which war. And, uh, yeah, a lot of artifacts. Yeah. Very, very interesting to kind of walk through here. And it's a great place to stop um, because it's free. Right. <laughs> Which is always nice. They only ask for your donation. Right, right, exactly. Right. And we've really enjoyed it. 
Yeah, I thought it was a great place to visit. Yep, definitely if you're here, you know, you want to spend a couple hours, so at least a couple hours, probably figure two to four hours is probably about norm. Right. And you do want to try to get here on a fairly nice day because a lot of it is outside. Mm-hmm. But we've, we've enjoyed it. We definitely would uh, recommend, mm -hmm. you know, you come here. Right, right. <laughs> the Gulf of Mexico and over here the remaining bits of a sunset like we said before haven't really gotten down to the beach all that much yet because of the restrictions of not being able to bring the dogs down here so this is really my first time on the sand. I think Diane just went out for a couple minutes and checked it out. It is a very nice beach. It'd be nice to come here a little bit more in season when you can, uh, you know, have some warm weather and come by the water and cool off. I'm betting this water is pretty cold. Probably a little colder than I want to go swimming in. Well, gonna head back. There you go. Thanks for visiting the real Florida. <laughs> See you soon. I'm leaving the beach. Say goodbye. So I didn't even get to go to the beach. The mean Florida won't let me go on the beach. It was a nice park. It was a wasn't it a state park? State park. Yep. I think it was a great park. I think it's on my top list of top five. Yeah, really? Yeah. What'd you like about it? Oh, it was clean. The sites were very big and private. Um, it was on the ocean. The one thing that kind of held against it was uh, you, know, you couldn't take your dogs on the beach. But you know, and it was you know in a urban area where there was lots of things to go see, do, buy, eat, whatever. Right, right. So yeah, you can't um, you can't really say too much against the park. I mean, it had uh, clean bathrooms. So yeah. you can they have laundry there, and the um, yeah, like Randy said, the sites were huge and very private, which we like because then the dogs won't find anything to bark at. <laughs> Yeah. Or anybody to bark at, really. But, but they were hearing voices in the uh, brush around the park. <laughs> right, in the, right. In the bushes. Right, but I don't think they ever saw a squirrel or anything. We did, but yeah. they didn't seem to. So, yeah, all in all, it was a very nice park and a very nice stay. The beach was super clean. Uh, yeah. And uh, almost a white sand color. Yeah. Almost like talcum powder, very, very fine. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. Yeah, we got to take a walk along the beach last night. And uh, the ocean was a little rough, but Randy said he saw a couple surfers out there. He did, honest. She didn't see him, but I did. All right. So this is where we're going to end this video, right, Monty? Um, for episode three. And episode four will be the Camp RV show. Um, so stay tuned for that. And if you want to follow along, what should they do? They need to subscribe to our channel. That's right. Ring the bell for notifications so that you get notified when we post new videos. And we try to post videos on a weekly basis every Wednesday. So be sure to follow along. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. All right. All right. So until next time. We see you down the road. See you down the road. Bye, guys. Bye.